Now, um, advertisers, politicians, manipulating images, that's one thing. My principal concern, as I mentioned earlier, is what happens when we have reportage or things purporting to be reportage. Again, 2003, we have a photograph from Basra. Uh, in this case, it shows a British soldier apparently gesturing to uh, Iraqi civilians, um, allegedly so that they take cover. And this appeared on the uh, front page of the Los Angeles Times. It's a composite photograph. Um, it actually um, is two photographs which have been morphed together. And um, the veteran photographer who took this photograph um, was fired as a result of his decision to use two rather than one shot. It may have improved the composition, but did nothing for his professional career. Photographs of war are particularly emotive. But in civil society during peacetime, is there anything more, more emotive than a football match in Spain? In 2011, uh, the Spanish sports newspaper AS digitally altered a photograph, removing a defender from reportage of a match between Athletic Bilbao and Barcelona. Uh, by removing the player, it appeared that uh, no offside had taken place this could be quite a critical issue. In this case, it seems a, a trivial matter to falsify, um, but clearly someone thought it was important to play to their particular audience at the time. All right, you may consider a football match reasonably mundane, but let's go back to the Middle East and a photograph from 2006, which shows the aftermath of an Israeli air attack on the Lebanon. This was circulated through... Um, Reuters news agency and after a little while it became apparent that the image had been doctored, that additional black smoke had been added and the sky image had been actually doctored to make the uh, aftermath of the attack look more dramatic and more severe. Uh, again, um, this is an embarrassment for Reuters who reacted to it quite strongly um, and they said that it represented a serious breach of their standards. Now, um, we have the vested interests of photographers and news agencies to portray a particular event in a particular light. Uh, clearly it was felt that this one went too far. Another way of augmenting an image to make it more impressive is to digitally duplicate the uh, audience, the crowd, at a political uprising. This photograph from uh, January of 2012 has um, the crowds increased in number to make it look like there was a larger protest than was the case. Again, this was discovered by readers who posted up their own photographs showing the actual crowd in attendance. Now, the website 4 and 6 has literally hundreds of examples of where photo manipulation has been either proven or is strongly suspected. And you can go through these at uh, your own leisure to uh, identify uh, where changes have been made and for what purposes. I'm going to reflect on one last one, which is a photograph of a family um, running away from war-torn Syria. Um, it would appear that in this particular image it is another composite, whereas in fact the um, original image showed uh, no visible damage behind the family, but for dramatic effect it was easier to convey um, a sense of what was going on by putting in a bombed out background with a family fleeing in front of it.